Our next example deals with finding the average daily balance. A credit card calculates interest using the average daily balance method. The monthly interest rate is 2% of the average daily balance. The following transactions occurred during the September 1st through September 30th billing period. So what we have is a previous balance of $3,800. We have a payment that was made in, of $800. Then we have a charge for gas, for clothing, for an airline ticket, and then we have the end of the billing period. Find the average daily balance for the billing period, round to the nearest cent. We're going to start off with a column for the dates that are important to us. In this case, we start off on September 1st with an unpaid balance, and that amount was $3,800. On September 5th, we ended up having a payment of $800, so we're going to subtract that from the $3,800 to give us an unpaid balance of $3,000. On September 9th, we have a charge of $40, so we'll have to add that to the $3,000 to give us $3,040. On September 19th, we have another charge. In this case, the charge was $160 to give us a total of $3,200. On September 27th, we have another charge of $200. That's going to be $3,400. And then, of course, we end the month in September 30th. Now, let's figure out the number of days that we had each of these unpaid balances. So, from September 1st through 5th, that gives us four days with the unpaid balance of $3,800. From the 5th through the 9th, that's four days of an unpaid balance of $3,000. 9th through 19th, that's going to be 10 days with an unpaid balance of $3,040. From the 19th to the 27th, that's going to be eight days with an unpaid balance of $3,200. And the 27th, 28th, 29th, and 30th, that's four days with an unpaid balance of $3,400. So adding that together, gives us our 30 days. The next thing we want to do is to figure out the average da daily balance by having our weighted averages. So what I'm going to do here is have the product of the previous two columns. That is, we're going to have the 3,800 multiplied by 4, the 3,000 multiplied by 4, the 3,040 multiplied by 10, the 3,200 multiplied by 8, and the 3,400 multiplied by 4. We're going to add this up and come up with our sum. We're going to use this sum to calculate the average daily balance as follows. We take the sum, average daily balance, by taking the sum total, which we can find in this case is, again, the 3,800 times 4, plus the 3,000 times 4, plus the 3,040 times 10, plus the 3,200 times 8, plus the 3,400 times 4. And we divide that sum by 30. Using a calculator gives us a value of 3,226 and 67 cents, rounded to the nearest cent. That's our average daily balance. Let's now find the interest to be paid on October 1st, which is the DEX billing date. We want to round to the nearest cent. In order to do that, we use our formula, interest equals principal times rate times time. The principal that we're going to use is going to be the average day, daily balance. That's going to be the 3226.67. We're going to multiply that times the interest rate, which we're told was 2%. And the time would be for one month. This 2% is in terms of months. It's a rate per month. So we come up with our value of $64.53 as our interest. So now let's find the balance that's due on October 1st. We're going to take the balance from the end of the month, which was our $3,400, and we're going to add to it our interest, which was $64.53, to give us our new balance of $3,464.53. To determine the minimum payment, we have to use the following formula. Terms for the credit card require a $10 minimum monthly payment if the balance due is less than $360. Otherwise, the minimum monthly payment is 1 of the balance due, rounded up to the nearest whole dollar. 
What is the minimum monthly payment due by October 9th? We have to go with the 136th because our balance is greater than 360. So our minimum payment is going to be 136th of our balance, which is $3,464.53. When we put this in the calculator and round up to the nearest whole dollar, we come up with a minimum payment of $97.